And here it is, my magnum opus, the base that I'm very proud of. This is the associate brace of Avers. Only those that have reached the rank of associate was able to enter this base, basically those people that I trust fully. Now, we will start first and look around some of the more important parts of the base before we head back and do something for one last time. Let me glide over there. It's down here. Oh, there you go. So I was supposed to build something here, but that didn't came out the version, but I made this corridor and on this corridor there was a bunch of like different farms if I recall, like there's some farms down there uh, there's a farm down here and then there was more here as well and here, it was a very uh, spacious farm down here and up these stairs was me basically making something to go up and for us to come here into the associate base on the left we have here is our trading hall with a bunch of different villagers that has different trades and over here is a bunch of other trades that weren't from librarians so it's a very big and intricate base and a very intricate um, villager trading hall but one thing that I'm really proud of is this the hall of avarice where history was made let me give a little breakdown so this one was actually the avarice sign from the original base at alliance cw made by one of my members called astray this was the table that we've used in the second base at alliance cw this was the bell that you use in Alliance Factions. This was the downfall of that base when we made an elaborate crafting table mountain and withers destroyed the base. This was my house that I made basically 10k blocks away at Alliance Factions, a place where we felt safe that we weren't going to be griefed or robbed. Here we have a piece of pathway with boost from the Avarice base at Mush Experience. Here we also have the Avarice, be uh, huge Avarice banner at Mush Experience where we have the names of, the of some people that went with us there like Apathy, Homicidal Urges, Anoki, and JD. And obviously this one was from the lore, basically a grief to commemorate a fallen member. But what made this place very nice and very heartfelt and very important to me is I get to give thanks and get to honor those that have joined my base and joined my clan. Like Astray, Azu, X Lavender, Pirate Girl, Wonder. Dancy. Excuse you there, big guy. <laughs> uh, Case, Sigil Kite, Salvi, JD, Anoki, Surf, Nightmare, Drac, BJ, Lil Monkey, Homicidal Urges, Daddy, Apathy, Red, Iljemai, Daikonu, Dare, Lemon Scent, and 37PH. And this was basically my seat. Very nice. And over here was the kid that started it all. The person that 
helped me start Avarice from the ground up. The one that, after two days of me playing with him, just abruptly left. And I never saw him again. But to Claude, our reverend, wherever you are, man, I'd like to thank you for everything that you have given me that day. And for being the pillar to making sure that Avarice is being remembered for a long time. Anyway, let's move on to other parts of the base here at the Associates base at Avarice. So the design of the base is very um, dark as you can say, like I just love these pillars and all these stuff over here. And one of them that I'm going to be showing you is a secret that we have kept for a long time. This is called the Eye of Avarice. I think that's what it's called. The Key of the Eye. Yeah, it's called the Eye, basically. And what this does is it basically... Um, give me a second. Let me just get a key for the thing for me to drop. There you go. This is basically our secret project where, you know, I'll let you explain, but let me just drop this down. That was cool, ain't it? <laughs> well, this is it. We had a bunch of different bases and a bunch of different locations at hand where we located every single base and every single coordinate from each player or clan base. As you can see, we have a bunch of different bases. This is from uh, the NPC group where they made an elaborate big mansion over here. You know, we also had the Undead Heroes uh, sort of mountain over there. Uh, Trader Bros um, area over there. A bunch of other bases. But that, that's not all. We also had info on their exact locations of clan bases, as you can see here. If I take one of these and read it out, there we go. Members and coordinates as well. Yeah, we were sneaky like that. We kept <laughs> detailed areas and detailed locations as well as some locations of players. Let's read Asano Samurai. We found this base and there's the coordinates. <laughs> I know it was sneaky, but you know, that's what he lived on. We basically um, did this so that we had tabs about every single person that we had here. And there's a stone block here. And that's the reason why we have this stuff to just throw out. And over here, I think, was a pretty elaborate library. And a big hallway over there. Which leads me down to the main area of the associate base. The one that I really enjoyed making. The table. Up here is like a viewing platform over there. Basically when I made this base, I wanted to carve out a piece of it. To make it some sort of like the Hall of Justice. Or Superman's uh, cave. Whatever you want to call it. So when you enter here, you can pass by this helipad, and it says here on the chest, you must pick a seat, put your name, and you'll be in the seat of Avers. So, let's look at some notable names that have been here. Trayman, Anoki Wolf, LB Thorn, Mad Clan, Space Police, of course this is my seat. Alessa, Segel Kite, and Astray. There was a time when every single one of us was at some point here, and it kind of, you know, I would have liked it if, you know, one more time we were all here discussing how we would take over the world and show that Avarice's might was not to be trifled with. It was good times. <clears throat> Very good times. 
but like all things, they all have an end. But these memories that we have are stuff that we won't really forget. Now let's go back to base. The first base, rather. And let's sleep on the bed. So now what do I want to do? Well, I've looked into every single part of here and I decided I want to leave something as a memento of this place. Something that would remember by a lot of people, just in case people come here and they know that this history and this area will always be remembered. So let me just grab some stuff. I got obsidian stuff. All right, let's make uh, cracks over here. Let's do this and do this and do this. Let's get some of this. Do this. Let me get the base. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me break this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay.
and here it is. Now it's basically a representation of the logo, but I feel like, and I realize something is wrong, and let me just fix that. Um, uh, give me a second. And I think that is it. Am I correct? Um, yeah, that's better. <sighs> Avers is something that I would cherish for a very long time. Sure, I might lose interest in it and may have forgotten about it over the years but it has always been a part of me f since i've created this clan because it has been very 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 important to how i live my childhood here in minecraft and in different servers i've always brought my ideology from avarice everywhere i went and with all the people that i've met people that have despised me, people that, you know, were confused and a bit anxious about me and Avarice as a whole, that was okay. Because I know that sometimes being different might not be for a lot of people, but that is what we are. We made sure that we were always on the top, no matter what it takes. But at the end of the day, the people around me are far more important than any wealth or power would have been. And I thank every single one of you that has been a part of my story here at Alliance CW and in Chaos, especially if you've been a part or have been associated with my clan Atlas. I may return here. Who knows, but for now, this would be my final arc here in Avarice. Everything that I've built, everything we as Avarice built, will forever be etched in memory. But I think it would be fitting for my end if I was to perish in the land where I went from and I feel like it's kind of poetic as I've died here multiple times to a lot of things especially when I was building the base and like you know a lot of stuff has happened oh I totally forgot let me grab some posts some of those rockets Let me just drop all this stuff. Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. You let's go. Alice, baby. That was fun, but as I said, this won't be the end of Avers. Sure, it is the final arc, but those who have always been loyal to the cause will always remember what we have built here and those that they have stand for, the ideals that we have shown them, 
and what they have forever been etched into their mind and soul. To everyone at Avarice, blood for the blood God. I guess as our time runs out, so does mine. Goodbye. Oh, that is anticlimactic. <laughs> This might be the end.